Adobe XD yesterday just released a massive update and we're gonna take a look at one awesome feature which is component states. All right, so let me show you exactly what we're going to learn today. So I'm going to switch over here to the monitor and we're gonna start with these examples and the very first example is the easiest of course to demonstrate what's happening here and that is a toggle switch. So there's uh, three things happening and before yesterday, you would have to create three different artboards for this. First, you'd have the default state, there's an artboard. Then you'd have to have another artboard for the hover right here. And then you'd have to have a third to show what happens using some uh, auto animate uh, when it's toggled on. But this is just one artboard. All the animation is taking place within this component. For our next example, it's going to be slightly more complex, and I got the uh, the inspiration for this one from Howard Plinsky. He has a really awesome Adobe XD template uh, that has a ton of these animations that he's worked on to showcase this new feature. So I'm going to link that in the description. But if we click on this, we can see this cool sort of gooey, you know, sort of animation taking place. This is a little bit more complex just because uh, it deals with the use of masks. I'm going to show you how to set that up. And then our third uh, example example is going to be a mobile menu so if i click on this we can see it slides out we can even hover these are nested component state animations hover based uh, we can click it out off of it it goes right back or we can click on say about and it'll take us to a new page so now you can showcase your uh, mobile animations or anything like this or your mobile menus without having to create a bunch of artboards it's just it's just one component where all of the animation is confined within it so as always make sure to subscribe and let's get started before we begin though Linode the sponsor of this video makes it easy to host your site your app or service on whatever technology stack you use with one-click apps like WordPress and Drupal, getting up and running is easy. With back-end access to your server, customization options are all but limitless. A fully configurable DNS manager allows for you to easily switch your domain name over to your new server, and SSL certificates can be installed for free using open source tools. So sign up using the link below to get $20 in credit on your new Linode account. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll just start off by creating um, an iPhone, basically mobile artboard here and let's get that drug in and let's just give it like a, a very light gray background and we're going to do a toggle switch here for the first example it's like the most easy way to describe this new feature so i uh, we're going to create this the, the typical pill and this is going to be a large example just so that we can see the whole thing uh, so it's going to be a very large toggle switch here so um, let's bring those corners in, get rid of the border. Um, we'll leave it white for now, and then we will get an ellipse. And let's come out right here in the center, shift and alt key, and scale up. And then we'll go ahead and get rid of that. Um, let's go ahead and make this, let's see here. Yeah, something like right around there. We have a dog that's barking in the background. It's always very professional. I'm just gonna duplicate this, Control D, move it over. That way I kinda know how large I want my pill container to be. All right, that's good. We'll delete that, and here we go. So now what we'll do is, uh, at this point, we know, you know all the layers that we want to be a part of this component. So I'm just gonna right click and choose Make Component. Now at this, play, at this state, we can go ahead and choose component uh, add state right here in this little plus button. So we can choose uh, just a new state or a hover state. It's sort of the same thing, except if you choose hover state, the, they do some of the manual work for you in the prototyping section, but you can still have your own hover state if you wish uh, just by choosing new state, but you'll just have to hook that up in prototype. You'll see that in a second. Um, so if we want to add a hover state, you don't have to. You can only have a click state if you want, um, but we can have a hover state if we wish. Um, I'll do it just for demonstration purpose. I haven't really thought out the design yet, but we'll just do a hover state right here. You can give it a name, uh, hover state by default. That'll work fine. And so now we have two different states here. So we have our default state, which is what we designed originally, and then a hover state. They're not changing because we haven't made any changes to them yet. Um, so the hover state, you have to ask yourself, okay, if we're going to have a hover state, what is it that we want to change about this? Well, uh, for me, maybe we'll just, uh, I don't know, we'll make this, we'll double click into the component to get to the ellipse and we will 
I don't know, make it a little bit darker. Okay, whatever. Now, let's have the actual click state. Now, that's where we're going to change the background of this, and then um, we'll also change the color of this to white. The background would be like blue or something. Um, so let's do that. So now what we can do is just choose this, the plus sign, state three. Uh, for some reason, it's not allowing me to, it's not showing me the blinking cursor. It must be a recording issue. We'll just call this uh, click. It's not letting me change. What is happening? Okay, well, you know what? It's just gonna be called state three, no big deal. So we're gonna take this, move it over. That's the first change we wanna make. We're gonna make it white. And then this uh, background, I guess we'll just make uh, blue. Something like that. So now we have our three states. We have our default, hover, and we have this turned on. So now, it's not gonna work quite yet because we have to go to prototype. And if we choose default state, we'll see it has hover already added because we chose that hover state. That's what it does. It just adds the interaction for you. So this is going from default state to hover state. And it's a hover. Auto animate we have. We could choose different options here if we wish. Auto animate will, uh, will be just fine. Um, we could also, because we're only changing the color, really, we could just choose transition and then animation none. That'll be fine. Now hover state, this is uh, where we actually have to add the interaction type. So we're gonna click plus, you can see how they're all grayed out. And we'll choose tap, all right? So the action here, let's use auto animate so we can have a nice smooth transition from this position to this over here. Destination, we have to choose state three. All right, so we can also have, you know, ease the easing options and the duration options, all that good stuff. State three, we want to enter interaction based on that so that we can go back to the default state if it's clicked again. So we can go here to, let's see here, we have tap, auto animate, choose a state, default, and that seems like it'll work well. So now let's go ahead. Oh, by the way, I, if we just leave it on a certain state, and we hit play, that's the state that it's going to end up. It's not always going to be the default state. So if I hit play right now when it's already ch toggled on, there we go. Uh, but if we choose this, it's gonna it's going to start, you know, on our default state. So we hover over, we can see we have the nice hover effect. We click it and it smoothly auto animates over. Awesome, awesome stuff. Now we're gonna do a slightly more complex example where we have a download button and when you click on the download, it will have a cool sort of animation that works with a, a mask. So let's go ahead, I'm just gonna duplicate this, go back to the design tab, get rid of that. And for this one, we're gonna have just a button here in the center like this. And we'll go ahead and round out the corners just a bit for this example. We'll take the border, remove it, and then we'll go ahead and I uh, let's see here. I'm just going to choose black for the for the button. I haven't really gave given much thought to the design process here. We'll take the type tool and extend it all the way out. Center this. We'll put download, and we'll change the text to white, and get this all matched up. Um, let's just do Nunito for this. Okay, it's not really important. All right, so this is right here is going to be our default state. This is what the button's going to look like. Not very exciting. Um, what we're gonna do though, before I, I convert this into a component is I want to design like what the, the end state's going to be when it's clicked. Um, so what I'll do is take the pen tool and I, again, the example from um, Howard uh, had like this sort of cool goo effect, if you will. So I'm gonna take this and just create some Bezier curves. Maybe like that, that'll work. And then, Actually, let me undo that. Okay, that's fine. Now let's go out like this. Make sure it just contains the entire button container and we'll give it the color that we want it to be once it's filled. We'll just make it this nice blue color. Yeah, that's good. And then what we wanna do is create a mask. So we're gonna take the original button shape, which is behind it. By the way, we'll take download and put it on top. So we're gonna take this original button container and we're gonna hit, uh, Control D to duplicate it. And then we'll drag it here to the top and we're going to choose our path. So we have rectangle three and path one. Uh, 
So then we right click and we choose mask with shape. So now we only see that because if it's, it's a mask, uh, the blue portion of our path that is within that mask, which is the button, uh, the rectangle essentially. So now what we want to do is, by the way, we'll take download, get that up there on top again. So this is what the end result's going to look like when somebody clicks on the download button. Um, so now we'll take everything, we're going to right click and we're going to choose make component. Now this is our default state. It's not actually going to be our default state. Um, what we'll do is change this up here. So we're going to double click into it, get into our mask group, take our path and then move it up. Okay, so now this is our default state. We're gonna choose uh, to add a state. It's gonna be a new state. It's gonna be a click-based state. Hey, it's starting to work again. All right, and then what we'll do here is we'll double click back into this, our mask group rather, take our path, take it down. And then also if you wish, you can actually change up. We could double click further into the path and change up the Bezier curves so that it makes it look like that it's animating, because uh, it is, uh, just to make some sort of interesting look for it, I guess. Um, and that right there seems pretty good, because you can animate the uh, the paths, the Bezier curves. All right, so now we go back here to prototype. Uh, we go back to the default state. We're gonna add an interaction, a tap, auto animate. Let's make this one last like one second here and make sure you choose uh, an art border state. Otherwise, if you click back to state without choosing a destination, it's gonna forget all this stuff. In fact, I'll just show you. We go back here, guess what, it's gone. So, uh, tap, auto animate, one second, destination is click. Click and just go back to tap uh, um, right here to the default state, and there we go. So now, let's try this one. Play. Now, it started us on the state that wasn't the click state, so let's do that. All right, there we go. Look at that. To make it a little bit more interesting, let's go ahead and, uh, so we can see the effect more, changes to like 2.5 seconds. Very, very, very cool stuff, I love it. So the possibilities here are endless. I'm gonna show you one more example, which is to uh, create an actual, a little bit more complex example of um, these component states with a mobile menu and we're gonna have nested components that have animations on them. All right, so let's go ahead and duplicate this artboard. We'll delete that, change this to white, and let's get a quick hamburger menu going up here. So we'll get this, yeah, something like that, make it black, we're gonna duplicate this, and group them. We'll call it ham. No, we'll call it hammy. There we go. All right, so we got our big old large hamburger menu right there. So what we wanna do is create the state, um, the click state. So let's go ahead and create kind of like a two thirds drawer that comes out. Kind of like a, a darker color, not quite black. And we're also gonna have um, just a couple list, our uh, link elements here, list items. Um, we're gonna make this one just slightly, uh, just slightly lighter than the background. And we're gonna have um, uh, an element that says home. All right, so this is gonna be a component itself with a little anim a hover animation. So um, by default, the opacity would be zero. Take this, right click, both of them, make component, create a hover state, double click into it, and then change the opacity to one. Awesome stuff. Now, if we were to go to prototype and replicate this, and then let's just choose default state for both of these and hit play, you'll see that because we have auto animate on here, for some reason, the animations don't behave like they would in HTML and CSS. Like they, there's a, a delay, like only one transition or animation could be can take place at the same time. So I, I don't like that. So I decided instead of doing that, we'll take this uh, and change auto animate to transition and animation to none. Now, if we duplicate this and try it again, they are instant. Awesome. Just a little bit of a, a pro tip there. Okay, 
So now, if you want to change the, the label, for instance, on one of the, the instances about, you're going to have to do it for any other states. So about as well. And go back here and change this to default. OK, so now at this point, let's go ahead and create the, uh, the component for the whole, you know, the whole menu, uh, which will include the hammy, the hamburger icon menu. So at this point, we'll go ahead and take this background, rectangle 46. Let's rename that to menu BG. We're going to duplicate it and drag it to the top. And it's going to serve as a mask for these elements right here. So it's just our, um, our two components right here in the background. So right click, mask with shape. OK, so now at this point, we'll go ahead and take both of these elements, right click and make it a component. Now our default state needs to I uh, obviously not be this it needs to ju just be the hamburger menu right here. So what we'll do is we'll double click uh, into this or just come up here like I did. And it says mass group six. So we want to take this element and move them like if we wanted to kind of come in from the, the right and into the left, move them over to the right, take the opacity down, that'll work. Um, and then also, I want to take this mass group and just hide it because if we don't hide it, this empty space will be all clickable. We only want this area to be clickable. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. Uh, that, that was something that stagged me. I, was, I wasn't sure how to fix it and I figure it out. We just hide this group. So then we're going to go ahead and we're in default state. We're going to add a new state. We'll just call it clicked. And in new state, we'll come back here. We're going to take our mask group. We're going to show it. All right, so now it's uh, not hidden anymore. We're going to take these elements and then just place them where we want to. Take the opacity back to 100%. So now if we go back into here and we go to mask, uh, or we click on your component, it should now look like this. Let's go to prototype and our default state, we need to add an interaction of tap. We'll choose auto animate, uh, 0.8 seconds, I guess. Choose the artboard of clicked and we'll use snap for this. Clicked, we'll go ahead and just do the same thing essentially. Um, it's gonna go to default state. Let's go back to the default state to show that initially hit play. Notice we we're not getting a hover or any type of uh, cursor hand icon or a pointer rather. There we go. And there you go. So now you may be wondering what if we want these home and about links actually to go somewhere? Because right now they're just taking that drawer and just going back to the default state. Well, what I found that you can do is if we go here into our click state and we get in here into this nest of stuff, let's take our about page for instance, we'll open this up and we'll have the background. We're going to copy that and then come up to right here and we're going to paste it to the top. It's called rectangle 48. Trust me, you want to rename these layers if this is a serious project. And then we can go back to prototype and notice it selected our rectangle 48. And what we want to do, let's say, for instance, uh, let's create a, another artboard um, where this is in the default state. And this maybe says about, like this will be our about page that you're designing for. All right, there we go. We'll go back to prototype, come here, choose rectangle 48, and then just drag it over like you normally would uh, to this other artboard. Uh, so now, if we go back here, choose default state, hit play, we'll go ahead and click this, click on about, there we go. And because about already has the instance uh, of this master component for this component, this will work there as well. Oh, about is sitting on top of it, so if you wanted to really quickly go and put that beneath. Now we'll play on this artboard, click on about, there we go. So you can do this for all your links. So very, very, very powerful. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, this is a massive update. There's going to be more features and different trigger types. Right now, they just have tap and hover. But I, uh, Howard confirmed to me that having time uh, be one of the triggers uh, that's on the roadmap. And that will really open up a lot of different possibilities. All right. So once again, subscribe and I will see you later. Goodbye.